So I'm going to talk about the rules for the break off this time. So as you can see, the front ball is on what's effectively known as the black spot. So the balls are actually racked up lower than they would be on a, on, on a normal English eight ball table, which again makes the breaking harder. So the rules for the break off is the white, the cue ball, can be placed anywhere behind the line. So the rules of the break off are after the break off, there's what's called a three point rule. So three balls have to pass this breaking line. If you make a ball from the break, so if you, if you pot a ball, then two balls have to pass. If you pot two balls, one ball will have to pass. If you pot three balls, then obviously no balls have to pass. But that's why it's called the three point rule. So if you weren't to make a ball from the break, three balls have to come past the line, which obviously encourages people and makes people have to smash the break and hit the break hard. After the break off, so we'll just, we'll just break off here. As you can see there, four balls, five balls have come past the line, so that was actually a legal break, so everything was okay there. After the break off, it's a complete open table. Even if I broke off and pot, say, a stripe, I can still go solids, but I have to pot the solid to be, to be on that suit. It's a complete open table. If I was to miss, my opponent then comes to the table, and he's also got an open table. What you're not allowed to do is play a stripe onto a solid the very first shot. So in this instance, let's say I've broken off and potted a stripe, but I want to go solids. This one isn't here, so I can't pot this one. So I want to go solids, but I can't play the stripe onto the spot the very first shot. So the rules are quite sort of harsh from the break. Um, and like I say, just a complete open table. So therefore, whichever ball I go for, I've actually got to make that ball to be on that suit. So, as I explained, the rule from the break off is three balls have to pass the head string, which is the line, in order for it to be a legal break. If three balls don't pass the line, or you know, I don't make two balls and, and one pass the line, if it's an illegal break, the rule is, if you do this three times in the match, the fourth time you actually lose the rack. The fifth time that you were to a legal break, you actually lose the match. So as you can see, the rules from the break are quite harsh. So the third time you get a warning, if you do it again, you lose the rack. Foul break again, you lose the match. So it's obviously encouraging people that they have to hit the break hard and make three balls past the line. So have you had any experience of that rule Giving you some pain yeah, in I, I did in the in the the Masters that I, I recently won a few months ago. The second time, I actually played uh, uh, one of the Chinese players called Li Yu Wen, and um, the score was six each, uh, and I'd actually foul broke uh, three times. I foul broke again, which then, you know, in turn I lost that frame, so I was therefore seven six behind. Uh, the, the, the referee then warned me that if I was to foul break again, then you know, I would lose the match. So therefore, from, from I think it was an hour and a half into the match, and there was still perhaps a couple of hours left, if I was to foul break again, irrelevant of the score, I would lose the match, which you know, is a little bit harsh. And in my opinion, you know, it's a little bit too harsh. I think losing the rack every time you foul break after three times would be more than enough penalty. But that's, that's the rules, and that's the rules of the Chinese eight ball. So for more pool videos from Gareth Potts, please visit homelessdirect.com forward slash TV.